here we have a simple spring mass system this system has two important properties elasticity stored purely in the spring and inertia solely because of this mass so the spring has no mass and the mass has no springiness or elasticity we are looking at its initial position where the mass is held up here thereby compressing the spring and because the spring has compressed it stores some potential energy represented by this green bar now if we release the mass it is reluctant to move by itself because bodies at rest like to remain at rest a property called inertia but the spring is now eager to gain its original uncompressed position a property called elasticity so it will push the mass down till it gets to its original unstretched position thereby getting rid of all the potential energy that it had so the spring is not interested in moving the system any more but it has set the mass in motion and moving bodies like to continue moving again due to inertia so the mass refuses to stop and continues to move downward further like this as the mass moves down it stretches the spring and the spring in turn applies a upward force thereby breaking the mass till it stops completely in this position so now the mass has stopped and would like to continue to be at rest but the spring which is stretched tries to move the mass upwards till this point and by the time the mass reaches here it has gained some speed so it continues to move and thereby compressing the spring up to this point and now we are back to square 1 let us watch the whole cycle the motion thus keeps repeating itself and since there is no reason why one cycle would take longer than the other the motion is periodic the displacement versus time graph of the system is sinusoidal that is like a sine or cos wave or a harmonic function so the motion is called a harmonic motion moreover it is one single harmonic function so it is called as a simple harmonic motion so at the heart of simple harmonic motion is a power struggle between the spring or elasticity and the mass or inertia they keep gaining the control one after the other cyclically and drive the system so first it is the spring driving the mass and then it is the mass driving the spring and so on another way of looking at it it is uh, a interconversion between the potential energy of the system to kinetic energy of the system and back and forth cyclically of course in real life there is nothing like a pure spring without mass and there is nothing like a pure mass without springiness or elasticity and therefore every physical body that we encounter has some amount of elasticity and of course some amount of inertia with it and it is therefore capable of oscillating like this and thus is born one of the commonest motions in our universe starting right from the very atoms and molecules that make it